What's up everybody? Jacob here. Already had my video done for the day watching FAU game and if any of y'all down here in South Florida FAU fans, I go to FAU. I broadcast the games for FAU on ESPN across various platforms and uh, this season has been incredible to watch FAU play and uh, it was stressful, stressful game. One made it onto the, the conference championship game now so so excited for that tomorrow and uh, like I said, I already had the video done, ready to go. And, uh, yeah, Dolphins go ahead and pick up Tua's fifth-year option. So, initial thoughts. Right move. I think it's absolutely the right move. You look at the way the quarterback market is going. Deion Jones just got $40 million after the Giants turned down his his fifth-year option. Look at the money that Lamar Jackson is asking for and might eventually get. We've seen some really absurd contracts. The fully guaranteed deal that Deshaun Watson got. We've seen some crazy deals for quarterbacks recently and Tua going into his fourth year and eventually into his fifth year. Um, obviously there's the question marks around him. Obviously there's doubt and concerns to be had with Tua that I have time and time again stated. I, I, I probably would have moved off of him from this off season. I've stated that I have my question marks about his athletic ability. I have his, I have my question marks about his durability, his arm, and all of which are, are just questions about Tua. However, what is undeniable is Tua is good enough to get the Dolphins to the playoffs. Tua, just based off what Skylar Thompson did against the Buffalo Bills, is good enough to win us a playoff game. And if you're good enough to get to the playoffs, if you're good enough to win a playoff game, you're good enough to win a Super Bowl. You, all, if, you, if you can beat somebody else who makes the playoffs, as a, especially as a wild card, you can win the Super Bowl. With the, with, a, with the right team around you, you can win the Super Bowl. I've had my reservations about Tua. So many people have, and there have definitely been justified questions. I don't want a situation where Tua goes out this year without the fifth-year option and, and has a lights-out MVP caliber season. Let's say, for argument's sake, Tua goes out next season, misses one game, one total game, a little minor ankle injury, no head, is no head issues. He throws for 4,500 yards, 40 touchdowns, eight interceptions. How much money is Tua asking for? 40? 45? 50? I don't know. I don't know what he'd ask for. I don't know him personally. All I know is I can guarantee it's going to be a lot more money than the $23 million, excuse me, the $23 million that he's going to be getting his fifth year option. That is, that is pennies compared to what it can be there's a chance that it can be half of what he would ask for in the first year of his extended contract. I have my questions. I have my reservations as to whether he is legitimately the guy for the Miami Dolphins for the foreseeable future and beyond. I have my questions. But I know he can win games. I know he can get us to the playoffs. Right now, that's enough for me. Multiple playoff runs and multiple playoff runs without a win or we miss out of the playoffs this, this upcoming season. Okay, yeah. Big, big concern, definitely in the bucket that we should move off of Tua. And I've been in that bucket for the fair part of this offseason. But I understand the team sticking with him. And while I kind of disagree with it, I'm okay with it based off the success we saw this season and what, seeing what the team is going to be doing in this offseason after restructuring three guys' contracts, after saying they're going to get rid of Byron Jones to free up even more money, seeing that the team is committed to go out and spend money and build around this team and build around Tua, I'm okay with it. As long as we keep winning games, as long as we keep making playoff pushes, and eventually start winning playoff games, I am okay with Tua as the Miami Dolphins' starting quarterback. I am not okay with Tua if he continues this, this issues with injury, missed nine games, including the playoff game over the last two seasons. That continues to happen. That's going to be an issue and we should move off of him. But completely, 100%, not even a doubt in my mind, that this is the right decision for the Miami Dolphins. I do not want a situation where instead of having to pay Tua $23 million, we're paying him $45 million for just one year and then beyond of his services. Right move to be made. There was there was options that the Dolphins could have pursued this offseason if they wanted to bring in a quarterback. I like 80% believe that if we made a shot at Tom Brady that he would have said yes. Once he committed to retirement, I never, once he came out and said he's retiring, I never believed he was coming back. I also believed this last year, but I trusted him last year and I, I choose to trust him again this year. I got burned on it last year. I feel pretty good about it this year. I don't think Tom Brady's coming back. 
if we approached him before he announced his retirement? Maybe. Maybe he ends up coming down to Miami. But he doesn't. Aaron Rodgers, Derek Carr, Lamar Jackson, all guys that I'd be happy to see the Miami Dolphins move off of for Tua. Derek Carr has been the most polarizing one, the biggest debate amongst Dolphins fans, because I think it's kind of obvious with Lamar Jackson. Now I'm sure there's a handful of Dolphins fans, maybe a handful of people watching this, that'll say, absolutely not, stick with Tua over Lamar Jackson, and I think that's ridiculous. But there's definitely people that believe that. And then Aaron Rodgers, for two or three years of his services at the end of his career, you're not getting you know, 30-year-old Aaron Rodgers, but you're still getting a very good MVP-caliber quarterback. I've said I'd be okay with the Dolphins moving off of Tua for those guys. Wouldn't be okay with him moving off for Jameis Winston, for Jimmy Garoppolo, for bringing back Ryan Tannehill. Absolutely not. Those guys, no. no. But if you have the opportunity to get a Carr, a Rodgers, a Brady, a Jackson, 100% do it. But ultimately, the Dolphins elected not. And again, I can understand that decision. They, they hired McDaniel partially based off of his determination to make Tua work as a quarterback. And we saw it happening. We saw it. Leading the league in passer rating. Very good touchdown to interception ratio. Biggest issue from this last season is the health bill. Most of the time you hear Miami Dolphins circles, and trust me, I've unfortunately listened to more Miami Dolphins fans argue than I care to admit listening in like Facebook groups and just seeing Twitter, Instagram. And some of you guys are just but on both sides, I will say, on both sides. Make me want to pound my head into a wall. I like to think of myself as the middle gap. I do think we should move off him, but I fully recognize that he's a capable quarterback, capable of winning a lot of games, capable of getting double-digit wins. I'd say capable of getting us the AFC East crown and moving on to the playoffs. I fully believe that Tua can do that for the Miami Dolphins. I do also believe that he requires things to be perfect. If the system isn't working, if his offensive linemen aren't blocking, if his receivers aren't getting open, there's nothing left to offer. You get Justin Herbert, Lamar Jackson, Joe Burrow, Josh Allen, Patrick Holmes, all these guys can create beyond the offense, can create beyond the system, can create beyond the flaws that they have in front of them. This is not what Tua does. And as long as you can accept that, which part and partial I can, then he I'm okay with having that as the Miami Dolphins quarterback while he's under a rookie contract. Now when you get to paying him $40 million, $45 million, $50 million, and he can't elevate, he can only be what the team is, very little ability to elevate beyond the means of what's going on on the field around him, that I have a problem with. That I have a problem with committing serious money long-term in the future. That I have a problem with. That is not what the Dolphins have done right now. They have committed this season to a, go out, show us what you got, and hopefully it's good enough to warrant him being here for his fifth year after picking up the fifth-year option. Hopefully. I'm hopeful. I don't think he is the guy, but if you're wearing teal, if you're wearing white, if you're in a Dolphins uniform, I want to see the best. I want you to do your absolute best. I don't care if you're a player I've traditionally hated. I don't care if you're Tom Brady. I don't care if you're Big Ben. I don't care if you're a player that came over from the Patriots, the Jets, the Bills. I don't care who you are. I care that you have a Dolphin logo on your helmet, you're wearing teal, you're wearing white. And I want to see the best from you. There's Miami Dolphins fans that would rather see Tua fail and the team lose. And there's Dolphins fans that would rather see Tua succeed and the team lose. Just so their point is right. They care more about being right about Tua than the Dolphins succeeding. Personally, I have my opinions. I couldn't care less. Did the Dolphins win? Did the Dolphins win? That is the important question. Tua has won a lot of games for the Miami Dolphins. And I hope he will continue to do so. And this fifth-year option shows belief, shows confidence in him. And I personally believe it's the right decision by the Miami Dolphins. Let me know down below. What do you think? Miami Dolphins make a mistake by picking up Tua's fifth-year option? Should they have looked elsewhere? Should they get ready to move off of him for whether it be the draft or another quarterback next offseason? Or do you believe he's the guy? Do you have full confidence that Tua is the guy? Let me know down below. Thank you all very much for watching. Jacob here. Like, subscribe. Have a great day. Thank you.